Hello and welcome to another PA Matches cast. I'm Brian Perkis and today we've got a 1v1 between Piros in the brown and Forest in the pink. Uh, this is my first time actually watching Piros play uh, and Forest, if memory serves me, is ranked uh, fairly highly in the ladder. So this is, this is probably going to be a good game. Uh, Realm play, uh, guys tend to offer some great um, matches. We've got Bot Factory, Metal Extractor, Bot Factory. Very common uh, opening build. Uh, fa Fabricator's coming off first for Forest, while uh, Pirots is doing the same thing, except Bot Factory, Bot Factory, Energy, Metal. So slightly different, but the same. Let's uh, zoom out and take a look at this planet. Earth planet, desert ring, and this giant ocean. Unfortunately, though, there is very little metal in this ocean. Um, there are some metal spots near the ocean, but it's just... Let's keep oriented north. It's just not... I don't know. There, With this particular map, there's not a uh, very big draw or reason to claim this ocean. If there were a bunch of metal spots, or if there were more metal spots along the shoreline, then hell yeah, go for the go for the giant ocean. Um, can be a huge asset, a lot of map control, but this ocean, eh, there, it's not, not much. So let's see, it looks like we're gonna have our first clash over here. And the... Uh, the ooh, just barely. The uh, fabrication bot goes down. Very nice win for Forest. Uh, both players are hurting for economy now. Never mind for nope, nope. Kind of bouncing around, which is also common. So I the don't players don't know the where their opponent is. They do have a kind of a general sense for which direction, which is a good starting point. And my goodness, the dock spam has begun. Uh, Pirots um, has got a radar up. Forest does not have a radar up. Interesting. That is a uh, that's a big mistake. Uh, ba uh, putting basic radars, they're dirt cheap. They barely use any energy. Uh, it's very good to uh, to have one. It's an all but required structure to have. Got these uh, forests catching on fire as these bots kind of dance around, finish each other off, and in comes some more bots. Uh, for, uh, P Rots is outnumbered here and needs to pull back his bots so he can clump them up. Nope, they're just going to get charge on in and get destroyed with ease. That was a, a bit of a mistake. Uh, here comes a bomber, though. Nope, not gonna... There we go. Bom uh, air superiority is very... It's not, they're not... Bomber's not getting an attack. Eh, well, it's not a good start for uh, P-Rots. He's, he's already on the back foot. He's got some nice expansion over here, but he needs to be careful or else he's gonna get hemmed in with uh, no room to expand. And he's got this bot fabricator sitting idle. That's why you always want to have long build queues. Long build queues are your best friend. And ooh, that uh, that bot fabrication bot is going to just barely get away. There goes the bombing run. Oh, and they uh, just barely got away. Oh man, look at all these bots incoming, and plenty more all over the place. Let's take a look at the total unit count. Holy cow, look at that. Forest has a far superior uh, factory count. Well, uh, Pirots is catching up, but he is way behind. And look at that unit uh, count difference. That, uh, that That's pretty big. That is pretty big indeed. Uh, that's, like I was saying earlier, Pirots is on the back foot and is in trouble. Uh, Forrest has got these, uh, bots running around the backside. They're gonna be, the yep, up that, uh, single barrel laser defense tower is not gonna get finished in time. So that fabricator is gonna get destroyed, which is going to give all these bots free reign of all these metal extractors. That is a very big win for Forrest. He's gonna be able to get in, uh, what, four, five metal extractor kills plus a fabrication bot kill. That is, that is big. 
Uh, Pierrot has stepped up to vehicle. No, nope, no, nope, he only has one vehicle factory, but those uh, bolos are going to be very, very helpful and very important for warding off all of these bots. Holy cow. They're just like uh, swarms of ants moving on over. Oh, uh-oh. Um, and Forrest is hurting for metal. It's kind of bouncing around, and he's got an idle fabrication bot. Ooh, nice. Uh, P. Rots has got an uh, air fabricator running around claiming metal. So even though there's not a whole lot of metal spots out in the middle of the ocean, that still is nice. Uh, he needs to be careful, though, that fabrication bot might get taken out by this uh, hummingbird. Let's head on back over here to where the action is. I'm going to need to keep an eye on the pip over here. See if that fabrication bot gets taken out. Oh, man, look at this. Uh... Uh, Pirates is move losing metal extractors. He's in danger of losing this air factory uh, and energy plants. This is not looking good for him. Tanks or bolos are coming forward, and they are going to be able to help out, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Very well. That in of itself isn't going to be enough. Uh, here comes the commander. Commander's moving forward. Not sure if he's going to start building that. Yep, no, he's going to start building that uh, bot factory. He re really needs to get that commander onto the front line so he can uh, uh, start turning the tides. Bumblebee flying overhead, dropping bombs. That that might save his butt. That uh, ooh, that is a nice, pa very nice pass. Whoa, that one bumblebee really, really helped out. Uh, even, he still, uh, Pierrot still has a, uh, superior economy, and that air, fa air fabrication bot did get destroyed, but not after building, uh, several metal extractors. Very helpful. Uh, bots having to fall back and clump up because the commander's sitting right here. Wow, those, uh, those bumblebees really, really helped out. Uh, in comes some docks. They're gonna be getting in a few metal extractor kills. Meanwhile, Forrest is back to expanding and has got this uh, fabrication bot running around claiming metal extractors. Very nice. Good opportunity for uh, P-Rots to use these bumblebees, a line north, to use these uh, bumblebees to go out and take out some of these uh, outlying metal extractors. Let's see where they go. Uh, ooh, Forrest has just straight up... Ooh, nice fabrication bot kill and going to have some more metal extractor kills. And here come ooh, and a fabrication bot kill. Very nice. And then here come the bumblebees. Going to be able to take out one metal extractor per pass. That is going to be a very nice win. Put in some damps, uh, um, take out some of those metal extractors and close the gap in the uh, economy. And going to be a big clash going on right here. Tanks are being microed and are falling back to use their superior range against the bots. That is the way to fight bots. Bots have to get in close. Tanks kite out, use their superior range to their advantage. Commanders now on the front lines. Probably going to see an Uber Cannon. No Uber Cannon. Uber Cannon would have been very, very helpful. Oh, man. See, oh, and here comes the bombers. Whoa, that was a fantastic bombing run. This uh, air superiority is really, really helping out Pirots. Uh, Forrest needs to... He's got an air factor. He, he Oh, nope, he's building another one. Very good. He needs those hummingbirds to take out these bumblebees. They uh, took out several metal extractors, gotten in. Uh, fabrication bot kill have helped turn the tides and take out... Uh, um, clumps of units when Pirates had none left. That, uh, that Air Force really, really helping out. Uh, he's got now 4th Factory be um, just finished being built. Bumblebees are flying all over the place, just absolutely shredding those bots. That is, uh, that, that is a big deal. Uh, for, uh, Pirates is getting in some very, very good wins against uh, Forrest. He's taken out a lot of bots with very minimal losses thanks to those bumblebees. So Forrest really needs to amp up his hummingbird production or switch over to vehicles and mix spinners into his army or something. Um, uh, 
but at the same time, uh, Pirates does need to turn it around and go on the offense. Ooh, lost a metal extractor. And gonna lose another. Uh, Pirates uh, really needs to turn around and go on the uh, offense, or else he's only gonna be defending and he'll be losing bits and pieces of his base. And y you can't win by being entirely defensive. Uh, very nice distraction. Ooh, and some nice micro. Uh, Pirots, wow. Pirots, even though he's outnumbered, he is using his units very effectively and is destroying more than he's using. That is going to be key. And Forrest still does not have a radar. That is a big mistake. Cause see, look at this. Pirots does have radar, so he can see where the attacks are coming from and uh, about what size they are, so he can mount a defense accordingly. This is why you always build a radar. It's also often a good idea to build a forward radar. A very common strategy is to send a fabricator forward, build a radar, say, like right here, with maybe some laser defense towers, and then build a bunch of factories. Proxy bases are awesome. They uh, um, allow for faster um, attacks with less gaps in between because um, of the uh, decreased travel time. Got some more bombing passes. Oh, man, that is brutal going on right there. Some, oh, incredible, incredible bombing passes. And those bots finally take out that hummingbird. In come more, though. Never-ending stream of docks. At this point, though, Forrest... Oh, nope, he is. He's one step ahead of me. He is stepping up to vehicles. That is critical for mid to late game. Bots are brutal for early game. They just don't hold up late game. Uh, they are cheap, but they, um, what is it? They, uh, it's something like a two to three. The tanks are, build slower, so they're not as good for early game, but they're more combat effective. So, you, mid-game, you gotta switch over from bot factories over to vehicle factories, and use the bots for hit and run and quick defense and distraction. If you, if, uh... If uh, Pirots has his main tank army coming this way, he can send a bot fact uh, bot army this way first to get Forest to defend, and then have the tank army come in. And got a bit of a clash going on over here. Tanks are just really outclassing those uh those bots, and ooh lost the bumblebees because they didn't have an attack order, and then in came hummingbirds. Some, uh, some docks hanging out, but I don't think they're gonna be up. Nope, down they go. Decent sized tank force over here that I don't think Forrest is aware of. He still does not have a radar. So he's, uh, not aware of this decent sized tank force that could, uh, destroy all of these units right here. Uh, get in metal extractor kills, fabricator kills. Just gotta have a radar. Gotta have a radar. And here they go. They are moving forward. Before that fight happens, see what's going on over here. Nothing's going on the back on the back side of the planet. And in goes the fight. A little bit of poor micro. Uh, P. Rots really should have turned his tanks around sooner so he could use their superior range. But they still destroy Forest's uh, bot army, albeit. Uh, with uh, more losses than would have been ideal. Very nice. Pirates has got some bots hang running around all over the place. Ooh, took out these three metal extractors, preventing expansion and taking out existing expansion. Very nice rating from Pirates. Let's take a look at the total unit count. Whoa! Forest has six more factories than uh, Pirates does, but Pirates has more units because he has been so incredibly effective at uh, taking out more than he loses and because of those bombers and those bolos. Commander moving forward. Wonder if that was a misclick. It's sitting still now. Nope, building walls. Wonder if that's a misclick or if he's just trying to build forward bases. Looks like he's just trying to build forward bases because there's that uh, vehicle factory queued up. Very nice raid coming on over here. Going to get in three metal extractor kills. Let's take a look at the economy. Uh, both players are hurting. p -Rots really needs to get his energy under control, especially since he has uh, got those bombers that are such a big deal. Uh, no, well, he doesn't have much of an air force anymore. 
getting gotten thinned out. He's building up more bombers, but those bombers do use the ammo system. So, whenever they drop bombs, they consume energy to reload. So, if you're going to go a, with a bomber-heavy tactic, you have to have a bunch of energy. If you don't have a bunch of energy, then your bombers will have a slow reload, and they will not be as effective. Uh, forest bots are moving. Nope, they are just clumping up. At this point... Uh, direct confrontations haven't been working. Uh, Forrest has got to go for the flank attack, which is, looks like that's what he's doing. He's got these bots heading around this way, so they're probably going to swing on in over here, take out these metal extractors, and then hit the backside of the base where uh, P. Rots is most vulnerable. But at the same time, Forrest's... Uh, Forest tank army of Bolos is moving forward, and Pirot's or Forest does not have much to defend against Pirot's attack. This is a quite lethal clump of Bolos, and Forest only has bots. It's just not much. So we're probably gonna have a little bit of a base trade, I'd say. See where these guys go. Oh, except nope, not in radar range yet. They're gonna pop in, pop in on radar, except P. Rots is having energy issues, so that uh, radar is going up and down, up and down. One of the other reasons why having a positive energy is so important. Let's uh, turn off the mirroring so we can keep an eye on these two fights. Uh, um, these uh, large clump of bots take out that small army, take out the fabrication bot and the uh, um, metal extractors. Oh, they, they can't stop so early. They can't stop short. Both armies have stopped short. They need to move forward. There we go. Uh, forest army has split up into threes with one of them sitting idle. And he really needs to move forward. This is a very, very nice attack from Forest, Taking out a bunch of factories. This is uh, quite the crippling move. But at the same time... This might be the end for Forrest as his commander is dipping low in health. And this is going to be the end. It's not going to be able to finish it off. Oh, oh my goodness. That was close. Forrest's uh, Doc's army got there just in time. My goodness. But um, his uh, commander is now down to 7% health. That could probably be destroyed with maybe three bombers or something like that. And uh, let's turn mirroring back on. Zoom out a little bit. This uh, bot fact or the bot force was um, destroyed, not after taking heavy losses. Let's take a look at the total factory count. Yep, uh, Pirots is even further behind. He does still have a superior unit count, but his factory count is low. So if he's not careful, uh, Forrest does have a superior economy. Oh, but there goes the bombing pass and the snipe. Well played. Pirots, that was a fantastic match. Well played by both players. Uh, just goes to show uh, the importance of a bunch of different things. In particular, Air Force. Use bombers effectively and it can turn the tides. If your opponent is using bombers, you have to have spinners or hummingbirds. Air superiority can be deadly. If your commander is low on health, or if your opponent, if your opponent's commander is low on health, go for the bomber snipe. It's just a no-brainer. The bomber snipe is a very effective strategy, and if your opponent is low on health, that commander can be destroyed easily. If your commander is low on health, repair it and or build a anti-air net, especially if you know your opponent has a lot of bombers. Build missile defense towers, hummingbirds something protect that commander if you have um, access to an ocean put it in the deep water actually no never mind they change that the deep water uh, can the commander can still be hit by bombs um, Wow, that was that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that match. I hope you all did. Thank you very much, P-Rots, for sending in this match. If you all have a match that you think other people enjoy watching, let me know. Head on over to pamatches.com slash submit, and I will cast your match. Uh, if you have uh, any, any comments, please drop them. Let me know, and don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out. I'll see you next time.